Let's go! Come on!
Here's the reward. Silas's family is very grateful. You'd have done the same, mister. What the hell out? Come on! 
everywhere! Help! again. We all got to help each other out, mister.
You keep coming, I'll keep shooting. Every man for himself right now. Wes Dickens! Uh, Nigel! Where are you, old man? You better not have gotten killed. I'm here! <laughs> Get out here! Are you alone? No. I brought the great mass hordes of the undead with me. Of course I'm alone. Well, it's not the undead I'm worried about, dear boy. I kind of like them. It's the normal people I can't stand. What's happened? No, don't be like that. I haven't done anything, or stolen anything, or even lied that much. What then? A bunch of people just chased me out of town. They blame me for everything that's happened. I tell you, John Marston, I've been selling health tonics for years, from here to Timbuktu, and never once has there been a, a demonic bloodlust or the undead rising up. It's preposterous. Okay. No! They want to hang me! Me! An honest salesman! Can you believe that? Snake oil merchant who cried wolf. Well, yeah, something like that. Um, well, I'm headed south. I'm, I'm headed down to Mexico. I hear things are much better down there. Not to mention the, uh, the climate and the nice locals, but uh, also the merciful lack of cannibalistic morons with infectious eye diseases. <laughs> oh. Did you uh, get the bits and bobs I requested? 
Sure. Ah, ha, ha. Excellent. Uh, that's just a moment. <laughs> okay. No, I don't want to do this. Oh. I see. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ah! <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I risked my life for this? A blunderbuss? Is this a joke? What is this, 1850? Oh, ye of such little faith. You've been hanging around cattle and killers too long. You've got the compassion of a mass murderer and the intellect of a cow patty. I'll stick your faith in this gun where the sun don't shine. This is the weapon of choice for demonic horde killers everywhere, from Romania to Edinburgh and all the other places the undead roam. You can put pretty much anything into it and blow a bunch of the buggers away in one go. Makes your rifle look like a pea shooter. You better not be lying to me. Uh, would I lie to you, John? Uh, to others, I admit the occasional uh, <clears throat> sin of omission. But to you, never, dear boy. Now, I... Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, ah. yeah. Now, I am headed down to Mexico. Is there any chance that uh, I will see you there? We shall see. Well, if you're interested, I should be at Solomon's Folly in a few days trying to figure out a way to get in. I hear the border is not as open as it used to be. <clears throat> Ta-ta! <laughs> When am I going to wake up? <laughs> Fat freak! That's all you've got for me? Ah, Mr. Marston. What's going on? You got a passage into Mexico? Uh, for me, no. Uh, but for you, maybe. Uh, it all depends on your relationship with good old Uncle Samuel. What are you talking about? Uh, well, uh, the border is indeed closed. But the army is sending a train down there. Now, whether it's to help the Mexicans there or to escape the problems here, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> but I thought things were better in Mexico. Uh, well, uh, better or worse, it's uh, certainly different. <laughs> so why am I going and not you? Ah, well, that's a matter of age, dear boy. 
The army don't have many recruits with quite my level of experience. <laughs> so... So... You are on your own. <laughs> There's a train at uh, Benedict Point, and it's leaving soon once they've got all of the soldiers rounded up. Okay. And uh, your venerable friend here has done some more help. I have found some less than happy campers who have given up on glory and abandoned Uncle Sam's ranks. Uh, they're hiding out at Scratching Post. One of them might give you a uniform. <laughs> Okay. And what about you? Ah! Baghdad, dear boy! <laughs> well, either that, or Fort Mercer, or perhaps it's time to meet my maker with drool coming out of my mouth and a lust for human blood. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of yourself. I always do, dear boy. I always do. have a spare uniform what the hell for my family's in trouble and I need to get over the border I hear there's an army train going that way 
Sure, what do I care anymore? <laughs> you earned it. There should be one in the chest by the tent. Help yourself. Thanks. I feel like such a noble patriot. Yeah! Best of luck to you. Stay safe. You did real good, soldier. Basic training was very thorough. Well, that's good. These degenerates are only good at horn and drinking. Let's roll out! Keep your eyes skinned for any more of those nightmarish feeds! This train headed for Mexico? God willing. What's the army going there for? Officially, to help our Latin brethren in their time of need. Unofficially, to get the hell out of here before things get even worse. See what we can steal down there. Always one step ahead, ain't we? Christ the Lord, how many are there?
Roadblock! All right, every one of you clowns, get down and get the debris off the track. Let's go, let's go! Come on, soldier, move, move! All right, make Uncle Sam proud, soldiers, come on. Clear the tracks, quickly, let's go! This will come in useful. Abigail, Jack, the things I do for you.
Ándale, ese es mi amigo. Hello, friend. I'm still looking for ayuda. Se nota que I, you, I have the fence and supplies. I'm ready, you see? Can you capture a few diablos, señor? I will reward you handsomely. I must be crazy, but worth a try, I suppose. This is something I don't want to think about. Now, this is a new low. There's a good dog. Señor, yo tengo que Take this! 
This will come in useful.
Thank you all very much.
You okay, sister? Well, I'm alive, senor. Although, come to think of it, I just committed a mortal sin. Claim self-defense. Always works for me. Yes, well, I fear my judges may be a little more stringent than yours. Uh, but I appreciate the advice. Unfortunately, many of my nuns are not so resourceful as you or I. Their innocence will kill them, which is truly a terrifying reality. I would not know. I think maybe you would. But let us leave the psychotherapy and focus on more pressing matters. They are locked in the church, while hordes of, of, of these half-witted demons are, are trying to get to them. It'd be my pleasure. You're a true Samaritan, sir. You know, they say the devil has all the best tunes. It may be so, but it seems he also has the most half-witted friends. <laughs> so you know Bill Williamson, then? Excuse me? Just a little joke. I'll do as best as I can to save the nuns.
Sister, I've done as you asked. Bless you. But it's not sister. It's Mother Superior. Mother Superior Calderon. Our bishop was a stickler for regulations. <laughs> Until he got sick last week and ate half of the cathedral choir boys. I'm sorry. I only mention it because my girls are laughing at you calling me sister. What do you think is causing all this? Hmm. Déjame ver. Mexico is an old country. Many faiths have lived and died here. Many evil spirits have flourished. I have no idea what is afflicting the people here. But I know it is a sickness of the soul. Something supernatural, maybe. Certainly nothing rational. Perhaps if you were to get me alive one of these creatures, we could try a couple of experiments. Certainly. Get me a new one. One who was recently human. I want to work with a subject who has only recently turned. I'll see what I can find for you. Gracias, señor. <laughs> Shh! Cállense. No puedo creer cómo se portan. I must be losing my mind here. Mother Superior, I think I have a test case for you. Senor Barstone, you're a true pilgrim. That I ain't. Hmm. Now let's see. <laughs> well, it certainly isn't the flu. Their eyes are so devoid of love, of, of anything. <laughs> oh, lively one I see. Here. What is that? Holy water. I think we may have something. It seems to be working. Maybe. Maybe not. But it seems as if you were nearly saved. Spiritual infections are confusing things, Senor Marston. None of us can hope to understand them properly. But he came back for a minute. I bless the water, but perhaps my faith is not that strong. I have to do more thinking, but I need time. Every day, more of my people fall as the dead rise in Sepulcro. Then perhaps it's time I put them to rest. Take the holy water. Maybe it will be a calming balm for the restless departed. Thank you. No, thank you. You are a blessing in an unusual form.
Come on.
Seth, I'm sorry about all the insults. I miss the fresh corpses. myself into this. Relax now. Nearly there. I must be out of my mind. Come on, baby. Calm down. Now I'm in trouble. Damn weird animal. This is pure madness. Almost got you. Sure is messed up. I must be drinking.
Here we go. Do you think I like shooting women, you filthy whoremongering wretch? Gracias, señores, que estaba viendo a mi tía, que tal vez ya desculpada. Yeah, y yeah, la... get out of here. Go on. Go on, get it. Eh, ándale, gracias. Hello, Mr. Ricketts. Hello, John. I see you're enjoying another vacation in our little resort. Something like that. Well, we got sunshine, sand, and a plague that makes people eat each other. Come to think of it, it must feel just like America to you. What is going on? I thought things were calmer in Mexico. This is calm. What's a little like cannibalism among friends? Excuse me. So, how have you been? Good. Well, apart from my wife and son being tied up and trying to rip my soul clean out of my body, <laughs> and the entire earth turning into hell. Good. Real good. You know, John, I've lived a long life. I've seen this land when it was just wilderness and scrub. I've seen missionaries nailed to crosses by shaman and burn into just the cinders of their misguided devotion. I've seen slaves get set free and return to a bondage even more confusing than the one they left behind. I've seen diseases wipe out entire communities in a weekend. I've seen bad men make their own Valhalla out in the bush, with harems of maidens and the hunting of men as a sport. I've seen men struggle with principles and morals and the very meaning of existence. I've killed all that can be killed. Never, in all my natural-born days, seen anything 
quite like this. Nor me, sir. Now, if uh, we could only get something that uh, would attract these blighters, we could kill them faster and and maybe return this land to its uh, natural state. Some kind of bait? Exactly. I think I might know how. And more dynamite. I'm running pretty low. Let me see what I can do. Thank you, John. And take care. <laughs> Valuable than gold now. That'll do.
Gotta stick together, partner. 